It is 550. Welcome back to the Todd and Oz show on AM 590, 99.7 FM and everywhere at NewsRadioKLBJ.com. And well, let's give them the business. It's brought to you by Penballs. That's Penballs.com with a Z. Penballs.com. Listen up, new homeowners in Texas. Maybe, uh, well, it may be a little bit harder to find a homeowner's insurance policy uh, in the state of Texas. In a letter to shareholders this week, Progressive Insurance CEO Tricia Griffin she stated the company is temporarily restricting new homeowners' business. Now, this letter adds that redu- reducing the impact from weather-related volatility is strategic, a strategic important uh, maneuver. Yeah, Progressive halted homeowners' insurance policies about a month after Hurricane Burrow came across Houston, Texas. And they're not the only ones to pull out of the state of Texas. Newsman Rihanna Moore has more on that story with KPRC. A Tombaugh couple shared their policy wouldn't be renewed by Progressive Home Insurance due to, quote, a reduction in its hurricane exposure. Another viewer said their insurer canceled their policy due to risk. The absolute best uh, advice we can give to any of your viewers uh, or any uh, citizens of Texas out there is shop around. Beeman Floyd is the executive director of Texas Coalition for Affordable Insurance Solutions, a lobby group for insurance companies like Allstate, State Farm, and Texas Farm Bureau Insurance. What's going on with the state of insurance here in Texas? Texas has really, really tough weather, but in terms of insurance, it's really rough. Um, uh, because it does so much damage and costs so much. The second uh, issue is uh, stresses not only here in Texas, but nationwide um, on the homeowner's insurance market. And those stresses have been driven by our inflation during and immediately post-COVID. Now, here in Texas, we have our own version of it's called the Texas Fair Plan Association, a body founded by the Texas legislature back in the mid-90s. Texas homeowners denied coverage can seek out the Texas Fair Plan Association, which helps people denied coverage get homeowners insurance. It is 552. There will be a meeting later today between the executives at Southwest Airlines and the hedge fund that's trying to force the company to make some big changes. Elliott Investment Management recently announced that it had acquired a 10% stake in Southwest. TSN business analyst David Johnson says that's an important threshold. At 10%, what you could do is you could you, you don't have to sit back and wait for management to call a, a board meeting. You can call a shareholder meeting if you own 10%. You can mandate it. Leaders of Elliott Investment have said they don't think the airline is keeping up with trends in the industry, and they want to replace several members of the board of directors. Stephen Pickering, TSN News. So tell me, are you ready for the new iPhone? Well, Apple wants to show you the very latest. Apple will unveil new products today in a long-awaited presentation. The company is naming Glow Time. Expected to be debuting and demonstrated will be iPhone 6. There has been much speculation as to what the latest iPhone will look like and what its electronic guts will be, what variants and sizes, and of course, what colors will be available. Those questions should be answered today. Also expected to be unveiled is the next generation round of Apple Watches, and there's also been chatter of new AirPods as well as both a new Mac Mini and iPad Mini. The event streams live at Apple's website, on Apple TV, and on YouTube. Evan Brown, Fox News. The world's richest man is about to start uh, otherworldly flights to where no one has gone before, as we hear from Fox reporter Sue Guzman. The sky isn't the limit for Elon Musk. He has much bigger plans. SpaceX founder jumping on his social media site X over the weekend to announce plans to launch an unmanned starship to Mars in two years. If all goes well, he says, the first crewed flights to Mars will happen four years from now. Vicious entrepreneur says he believes it's also possible to establish a sustainable human settlement on Mars within two decades. Mars is 140 million miles from Earth. Sue Guzman, Fox News. It is 555, and you can join us anytime you want here on the Todd and Oz Show at 512-836-0590 here on News Radio KLBJ. So why are solar shingles better than those, uh, those nasty solar panels? Well, for one thing, there's no drilling holes into your roof to install, you know, those glass plates. And if you think about it, it just doesn't make sense, does it? Well, my friends Scott and Stacy Feller, they are the owners and operators of Kangaroo here in town. They've been here for generations, and, well, they got a better way. Solar shingles. Not only were solar shingles and that technology can make the difference on utility bills, 
The results are, are way more attractive than installing those solar panels. No holes to drill inside your roof. Yeah, you can also get a, a seamless look and a picture-perfect installation, of course. Listen, we've had some storms roll through this area not too, uh, not too long ago. And if you've got storm damage to your roof, there's only one company here in town that acts fast, very reliable, and they make the process of dealing with an insurance claim real easy, too. Yeah, they guarantee their workmanship, and all the materials come with warranties. Plus, working with a local company uh, with more than more five-star ratings than any other in Central Texas. So uh, do yourself a favor and get online and reach out to callkangaroof.com. I know that's hard to remember, but uh, it's all one word, callkangaroof.com. That's callkangaroof.com.